The site that I would like to share today is loyalbooks.com, but before I do that, I need to tell you about LibriVox.org. LibriVox is a site that gives you access to free public domain audiobooks read by volunteers from around the world. This is such a cool site uh, because you can volunteer to read a public domain book and share it with the rest of the world, and our students can do this as well, even elementary school students. Or you can search for and listen to ones that have already been created. So, for example, if I go Tale of Two Cities, here are LibriVox recordings that I can download that I can then less listen to their audio books, basically. But the reason I wanted to share LoyalBooks.com is because they have taken these LibriVox recordings and organized them very well. And so, as I take a look at, at what they have here, they have them organized by genres, uh, top 100, children, fiction, fantasy, mystery, and even more genres down here. Uh, let me go into children, for example, and let's choose The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So here I can actually listen to it online. Let me click one and let you hear. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Chapter 3 Busy at War and Love Tom presented himself before Aunt Polly, who was sitting by an open window in a pleasant rearward apartment, which was bedroom, breakfast-room, dining-room, and library combined. So you get the idea. So you can listen to the book online, or you can download it as an audiobook, with each chapter being its own MP3 file. Or if you use iOS devices, you could download it as an iTunes podcast or an iPod or iPhone audiobook file. If you're not into listening to an audiobook, you can download it as a readable book, as an EPUB book, which is compatible with all devices, a Kindle ebook, a text file ebook, or a read ebook. Now, there's power in combining those two as well. So, if you were teaching another language, for example, you could download books in other languages, and uh, uh, there's some possibilities there. So, again, that is loyalbooks.com. I think you'll enjoy this site, as well as LibriVox.org. It's awesome. <laughs>